How's it going ladies and bruises, I'm Bobby Six Good and today we're going to be checking out a game called Usurper Soulbound. Now as of recording, this game is not out quite yet, I believe it is out on the 2nd of November in early access, but the developer was kind enough to send us over an early copy so we can check it out for ourselves. I believe we did have a look at this on our um, top upcoming games video. I can't actually remember because we had so many games in that video, but I know I've looked at it before. I'm pretty sure it was in there. Anyway. Let's jump in, shall we? And uh, see what we think. So this is a uh, sort of an isometric hack and slash deal. Souls-like, I guess? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Let's do half an hour and see what we think, shall we? The, us the usual setup, you know. Unless I get carried away and end up here being here for an hour, which does happen. That's always a good sign, too. We are finally here. You will find the item deep within the temple, but this is as far as I can take you. We will need to proceed the rest of the journey alone. I like the uh, the sort of cross-hatching shadows. I really like that style. One last thing. Be careful there. You never know what may be lurking in those halls. <laughs> yeah, the cross-hatching and stuff. I like it a lot. The sort of comic book art stuff. Very cool. Alright, so what about buttons? No idea. I do have a sword on my back, but I don't know how to use it. Okay, it's pretty slow. Okay, so it's uh, same as Dark Souls. R1 for a light, R2 for a heavy. Then we got block, parry. Oh yeah, it really is the same as Dark Souls. That's our dodge. Alright, cool. Now we know. Dark Souls controls. <laughs> I did say it would be a Souls-like, although there's no stamina management by the look of it, so... Maybe it's not entirely a Souls-like? Oh, here we go. Every action performed during combat consumes stamina. Okay, never mind. Uh, the stamina bar can be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stamina management, I get it. Lock on, yeah, it's... It's Dark Souls. Cool. That combat feels pretty fun, not gonna lie. I like it. I like it a lot. It's more fast paced than Dark Souls, even though it basically uses the exact same systems. Oh, gold. That's where money comes from. So this is a demo, is it? It appears to be a demo, because we're level 20 already. So we're not starting at the beginning. That's cool, that's cool. I'm curious. I still want to know how it goes. I don't want to fight more than one dude at a time. I feel like just like Dark Souls, that will be very bad. Yep, parry, parry, blah blah blah. Should we try and parry him? How much damage is he going to do? Ow. We shouldn't parry, we shouldn't parry. <laughs> Fuck, that hurt. Can that go away please? Wasted a whole bunch of life. What is that? Oh, health. I wasted a whole bunch of health trying to parry him. That was a bad idea. Just like it always is in Dark Souls for me, because I'm terrible at it. You know, except if you're fighting Gwyn, because he sucks. Because <laughs> he telegraphs his attacks so that nothing else. What is that? I'm already pretty smitten, I must admit, the style. I'm not one for um, isometric hack and slash that much, but, uh, you know, that uh, that Dark Souls combat, I like it. Oh, we got a boss. Okay, we got a linear slash. That's easily sidesteppable, I imagine. Okay, that's not a linear attack. That comes with the second attack. We need to back off, I suppose. 
Ah, fuck. I died. Dodged too early. This is not going well. I don't think I can dodge that second hit. It takes me too long to recover from the first one. I need to play more, um, carefully. I like the music though. It's intense. Gotcha. I had to play it a bit more safely there. My bad. You know how it is. <laughs> I hope there's gear and stuff, like you can change up your weapons and each weapon has a different combat style. You know, like Dark Souls. <laughs> I'd like that. You know, like Dark Souls. <laughs> a whispering voice asks you to kneel and pledge yourself to the crystal to absorb its powers. Fuck yeah. Absorb me some powers, fool. There's blood all over our screen too from getting hurt. Can't believe you fell for it. Another usurper is embraced for our lord. Enjoy your journey to the other side. <laughs> oh, maybe this is the start and you start off doing that and then... Oh, this is the intro, is it? Maybe that's the tutorial. And you start off at level 20 and now we're going to lose all our powers? Perhaps? And our gear? And everything? Oh, we're a ghost. That's worse. <laughs> God damn it. I don't want to be a ghost. That sounds dumb. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's the Grim Reaper. Well, we're definitely a ghost. <laughs> Where are we going? That ambience in the background, I love it. Do I have a, a way to attack? I do not. The gate is sealed by powerful magic. Stupid ass gate. Oh. Hello. Oh my, what have we here? Another lost soul comes by to annoy me and use up my valuable time, no doubt. I would ask how you came to be here, but I think I can guess. Brought here by the lure of riches or power or some other such nonsense. If you at least had some money, I'd be willing to tolerate your presence, but another beggar in the halls? I'd rather die. <laughs> if I could, I would. Just to save myself the agony of your no doubt pointless questions. You're just not going to go away, are you? <sighs> you really are tiresome, which is quite a feat when compared against the boredom of an eternity spent in a crystal prison. If I told you I know where there is a certain useful item, would you go away and find it and leave me in peace for a time? Uh-huh. <laughs> good, good. Now take this key. Don't say I never give anything, give you anything. It opens the door to the further end of the hall. The item you seek is called the Usurper's Blade. It's a pretty little thing, but then anything not made of gr dull grey stone looks pretty here. And the power it holds, well, let's just say, I doubt you've ever experienced anything like it. Ever wondered what it would be like to take control of another body? For your soul to take the reins of someone else? Well, get that blade and you can find out, or not. Either way, I get a break from you. <laughs> Ruthless. Save game. Is it this door? Is this where we're going? Are we going the right way still? This place is humongous. Usurper's blade. Oh, it's a dagger? Come on. Give me something big and nasty. <laughs> yep, level one. We got fuck all health. Fuck all anything. Cool. Can we fight now? Yes, we can. hi -ya. Oh, shh. Okay. The physical realm is dangerous to the untethered. Usurp an enemy's body to gain the upper hand. Oh, I see. If you want to usurp an enemy, you must first lower the enemy's health until they're flashing. Stun them while they're flashing to trigger the usurping event. Once stunned, press the stun button again. While the slider is in the marked area to usurp the enemy. What's the stun button? 
Lastly, pay attention to the color of the health bar on top of each enemy, as it indicates how difficult it is to use Septum. Press Y while the enemy's flashing. Okay, Y is done. have a body again. Nice. Let's go. Ah, that's my put the sword away button. I don't really want to run around with the sword out all the time. Oh man, this guy's going to be pissed that I'm back so quickly. <laughs> I'm back. Well, then I guess you aren't quite the pushover I thought. Though I doubt it'll do you much good. Inside the crystal, we're all doomed. It's just a matter of time. Of a, a matter of how much time you can buy yourself before it reaches you. <laughs> Since I don't want you lingering around here, taking up even more of my time without buying anything, I suppose I should point you towards the Keeper. He's the only one who can help you get out of this prison. So let's help each other, shall we? I lifted the seal on the gate in the main hall. All you need to do is step through the portal you'll find, you find in the main hall, and your journey can begin in earnest. Don't thank me. Really, don't. You'll just end up regretting those words. And I would hate to have to carry you on my conscience. Goodbye. <laughs> the vendor shop has been unlocked. You can spend your gold pieces, Sean. Yeah, GP. New bodies and items are added to the shop as you find them. Oh, so you can buy bodies. That's interesting. Can we not just usurp them with battle? Nothing happens when you touch the chalice, but you feel an energy emanating from it. What do I do then? Kill it. I guess I'm not killing it. Put that sword away. Ah, portal. That portal? That portal. Now ah, let's get in there. Upgrade skills. Can we do that? We have one SP. We can put up vitality, damage, or energy efficiency. Hmm. Uh, for now, let's just go with damage, I think. Oh, there's uh, attributes as well. And physical skills. Damage seems good to me at the moment. Once you enter, there's no turning back. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Magic weapon scrolls. Hmm. A unique, a unique attack. That sounds pretty good. Man, I can't speak today. I don't know what the hell's happening. <laughs> Maybe I had a stroke. <laughs> kind of feels like it. What have we got here? Freeze scroll, summon aid scroll. Interesting. You found two magic scrolls, one of which freezes the enemies in your vicinity. Cool. You've also found a summoner's scroll. Use the scroll in this dungeon to summon aid to your side. It's dangerous to go alone after all. Available scrolls are shown on the bottom of the screen. D-pad X. Don't summon aid. Oh, I see. That's an actually controlled player. Whoops. Um, can I unsummon aid? Well, he's just gonna stand there the whole time and make this a dual screen thing. All right, there goes my uh, my aid. You know, considering this thing that I'm holding might- it is, appears to be some kind of short sword or dagger, it's very slow. You did. Uh, let's not summon a co-op partner by accident again. Well, I got him killed at least. Now I have to fight two at once though. I feel like locking on is probably not ideal in this situation. Why 
Why is my sword glowing? What does that mean? Oh, I can usurp him. If I usurp him, do I get my health back? Like, is he a better body than this body? Is that what that means? Can I just keep upgrading my bodies as I go? Because if I can, I should totally be doing that. Or maybe it just needs to gain enough power first before you can do a body upgrade. So dead, fool. Nice. Go treasure. Axe. Oh, add it to the vendor shop. So does that mean you, when you pick up a weapon, you don't actually get the weapon? You just get the ability to buy it later? Or can I change my gear? Oh, I can. Sturdy axe. Oh, I did not mean to drop that. carrying it, but I don't think I get to use it. Ow. Fighting two guys at once is getting me in trouble. Just like it does in Dark Souls. Give me your body. So we don't get new gear. <laughs> we just get a new body. We get a new body that happens to hold new gear. That's something. How do we go through here? Cannot use the enemies around. Oh. Didn't even see you there, dude. Oh shit. Uh oh. Okay, so when you die, you lose your body. That's not doing any damage. I see. Need to find something to beat. Found the dungeon map, nice. Use the map to find and activate all the usurper shrines in this area so that you can delve deeper into the dungeon. Nice. Deep head down. Oh wait, that's still not my axe. Oh, there we go. Up. It's got a lot more range than that stupid ass sword I had. Seems to use more stamina too though. So a body's like a free life. What is that? Having an extra body gives you a free life. Wooden shield? Carrying something. Oh yeah. Carrying too much. Really? Already? Okay, this is a big dungeon, man. Uh, Alright, hopefully that's running alright again. Let's just keep going. This is where that guy killed me, isn't it? Alright, free body. Your 
friend just turned against you. Can you inhabit more than one body at a time? Probably not. Absorb the powers at the shrine at the expense of all gathered GP. Um, we have to activate the shrine though, right? That's what those mean. You've activated the Usurper's Altar and absorbed the power within. Usurper's Altars grant the player a skill point. Use these points at the portal before entering the dungeon to increase the skill. Once all Usurper's Altars are found on a floor, the portal to the next floor of level of the dungeon is unlocked and you can delve deeper. The number of remaining Altars are shown on the top right of the screen. Good. Start earning some money again, real quick. And by that I mean breaking pots. We're earning money link style, you know. <laughs> this thing doesn't have anywhere near as long a range as that axe. I miss my axe. And you go. Alright, moving on. Money. Nice, free money. Oh, three dudes, and one of them's got a shield. That's ass. And a hammer? I want that body. Not going well. Stuck in the corner. Fuck. Three dudes at one. Three dudes at once. Not great. Oh, it does. Okay. So you can just bash your head against it until you get there. You can equip and carry up to two additional weapons alongside Usurper's Dagger. Usurper's Dagger has a lot of physical damage compared to physical weapons, but it absorbs a bit of Usurp Might with each successful hit. You should choose the weapon you want to use carefully. We need to Usurp a body before we start throwing our axe around. Go find someone to kill. Ah, oh, three at once again. First things first, I need to use a body. This body will do nicely. Let's use that axe. Out of my way. Nice. Let's go. Three at once, man. This game is brutal having to having to fight multiple enemies at once. Fighting many enemies at the same time. Not my jam. Now we get a hammer too. Alright. Only seven le level seven or above. Ah. Okay, so there's level requirements to get around. Interesting. We are level five already though. That's gone up pretty fast. Where are you? Oh, there. Hey, come on now.
No, no, no. This seems like a bad time. Need to use it for your body or I'm gonna die. Mine. Alright, as long as we can get the hang of this mechanic, we're probably gonna be alright. If we can get the hang of this mechanic, we'll be okay. Because it's like there's free lives lying around everywhere. See if some of these guys hit like a fucking truck, man. I think the big problem with this guy is he doesn't stun. My attacks don't stun lock him at all. I hit him and uh, he just ignores my attack and keeps walking at me like I did nothing. It's like, is that it? Is that all you got? Hmm? Well, yeah, I guess that's all I got. Hmm? Asshole. Is this where I started? Looks eerily like where I started. Where's my map? Does it say where I am? Oh, there. There's a way to go down here. Oh, hello. You were waiting for me, were you? I was careless. I was careless. Come on, dude. Let me get back up before I, like, get clobbered. Jesus, that was dangerous. At least he stuns, I guess. The hammer dude. I've got no health. One touch and I'm literally dead. Pull them back. Got him. Thank God. They saw me with no health, though. Man, hammer is powerful. Indeed. Health. Thank God. All right, keep moving. This this hammer on this club on a stick is uh, he's pretty good, man. He's pretty good. I may have to compile some of these clips together because I'm gonna end up playing it for ages again. You know what I'm like. I get carried away and then I can't. Especially when I'm having a, when I'm having a good time. When I'm enjoying it, game. Which I am. I'm enjoying this very much. Hard as bulls, but you know, I like that. As long as it's done well, you know. What happened? Is that from hitting the stone? Oh, my weapon broke. My hammer thing broke. I didn't even know that could happen. Wooden shield. I already have that. Thanks anyway, though. Two for one special. Oh, he just fell in the hole. Nice. Got him.
music goes well with it too, I must admit. The music sounds very intense, you know. Oh, treasure. Mace. Fuck yeah, I'll have a mace again. Wrong button. So is it just because I hit that immovable stone thing that that's what broke my my mace or was it did it just run out of run out of stank? Just ran out of herbs. Uh oh. This is one of those doesn't get stunned guys. So you hit him with the hammer, it do nothing. Like it hurts him. But it doesn't stun him. It doesn't get stun locked. Come down the hole, bitch. I don't want to fight you, dude. I want to fight your uh, friend over here. So I can steal his body and then kill you with it. Oh, I don't want to corner myself. Jesus, that was close. Where's the way out of here? This way. Back it up nice and careful, like. You're just going to keep following me, are you? I think we might be dead meat. If he's just gonna follow me forever, I think we did. We gotta get to the point where he tethers. Ow. Right, well, there you go. That seems like the perfect time for us to wrap this episode up here. This is good fun though. I like it. It is hard as balls and the fact that some of them don't get stunned and the fact that they throw three or four or two or three at the same time all the time. Pretty brutal, but the fact that you can just usurp a body to gain yourself an extra an extra life, basically. Kind of mitigates that. I don't know. It'll take a bit of getting used to, but I like it. I really like the art style. It's very Souls-like, but it's also different enough to be its own thing, you know what I mean? Anyway, that was Usurper Soulbound, out on November 2nd, I believe, in Early Access. Hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, thanks for taking it out for me, and I'll see you in the next one.